Hey guys, it's Marks. For the last week, I've been trying to go out every single day and train and collect some clips. And so far, it's been a really nice routine. Uh, I don't have the best spots. I mean, this is quite nice, these rails, and I found a skate park, but the skate park's pretty slippery. Everything's covered in wax, so my feet just slip on everything. But still, I, I've managed to come up with some nice lines and I've saved up a few clips and I want to show you guys what I've made. After the edit I'm about to show you, I'm going to run you guys through how I create lines, um, how I come up with them and, and sequences and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy and here you go. show you now how I come up with some of the lines that I do. I usually tend to try and find one single movement first which is interesting to me and a little bit of a challenge, something unique and then either put two easy moves on the beginning or two easy moves at the end and then maybe even one easy move at the start and had the, the camera's falling. No. At the moment I'm really enjoying making these types of lines where it's not about doing a big move, it's about connecting loads of little moves and there's something really satisfying about that. Um, and I'm going to try and do one here. The plan is to jump off here, cat on here, 360, catch my hands in the gap here on the pod, one foot here, straight into devil drop side. The hardest part here doing this 360 and grabbing the middle here because that's the only way I can devil side for some reason. I hate doing it off the top, but it makes it even more of a challenge. So let's have a go now. So not that, because I grabbed the top and then I had to adjust. What I'm trying to do is do the 360 straight to this bit so I can do the devil side straight away instead of doing that like little jolty bit in the middle. Just keep going. Whoop. Got one hand on it. What I've just noticed is that I could possibly kind of swing it round and make less of, a, less of a 360 and then it'll be much easier to spot for this. Ooh.
Okay, that's all from me guys. Unfortunately, I couldn't do more jumps in this video. I just don't have the spots for it. But I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe. Look out for Johnston's part two of his isolate video. And I guess we will see you next week. If you enjoy a war zone win more than you enjoy completing a challenging parkour line, you need help.